Hey there, it's Amelia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to trim and edit your videos in YouTube Studio. And before I begin, if you find this video helpful, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Once you upload your videos on YouTube, what if you notice something needs to be edited, especially if you did a live stream? or even in general, if you wanted to trim something at the beginning and or even the middle of your video. YouTube Studio offers an array of editing features. Let's check them out. So here I am on YouTube Studio, and to get here, you just go to studio.youtube.com, and if you're already logged in to YouTube, then it will already be linked to your channel, otherwise you'll have to log in to the appropriate channel. So from the YouTube studio, you'll want to click on content on the left and it will most probably be on the videos tab. And I have some videos that I recently um, have in my live tab for a recent live stream. I did a series of rehearsals. So I have some test videos. So if this is the first time that you're using uh, any of the editing features in YouTube studio, if possible, if you have a video that is a test video or one that's private that you can just upload maybe as a practice session, then you want to maybe work with that video. I have several videos listed as uh, private or unlisted. So I'm going to pick this particular video. Even if you were on your videos tab, you would just scroll down or you can filter or search for your particular video. And then once you find the video you want to edit, you're going to click on this pencil details icon. Again, I'm going into my live tab and I'm going to select this particular test video and I'm going to click on the pencil icon to edit. Okay, then once you've selected your video, you'll be on the video details screen. Then you'll want to click on editor on the left. And from here, I'll mostly be demoing the trim and cut today, but I do want to go over the other features in the video editor in the YouTube studio. There's also a blur feature. So uh, let's say that you were recording a video and you had some confidential information or something you wanted to blur out. It's easy enough to select blur and then you would just draw uh, like a square or a rectangle to blur that area out on the video. When you click the plus sign to add a blur, you have the option for face blur or custom blur. I'll select custom blur and you'll notice a rectangle appeared. You can also click the plus here for custom blur, select again, and then edit that particular rectangle. And then you can blur a section of the screen out as needed. Anytime you make a change, if you want to keep that change, you want to click save or select discard changes to return back to the editor options. There's also audio options. So by clicking on the plus sign, you could see that you can add music to an existing video. So I had purchased some video tunes uh, years ago that I use in my videos. And recently I had some messages that there were some copyright issues which were resolved because I had purchased the music. But if you don't want to get caught up in any copyright issues, what you could do is leave music out and then just add some music using the music in the YouTube studio library, which you could add to the beginning and end or different places in your video. You can also select an end screen here, but end screen is also available when you're adding your details for your video and info cards as well. So let's get into the trim and cut. By selecting trim and cut, notice that there's these blue uh, sections or handles on the left and right. And so far it looks like it's only going to allow us to cut the beginning or the end, but actually there is a way to trim the middle. First, let's review how to trim the beginning or the end. So if it's the very beginning that you want to cut, all you have to do is position your cursor to get the double headed arrow, drag this inward to cut, but to focus in and specifically listen to and cut say a few seconds and you want to get that just right, you could zoom in 
on your video by moving this uh, little dot over to zoom in. So for instance, say I just had a few seconds of the beginning that I wanted to cut. Let's from the beginning, make sure that this little indicator is over on the far left and click play. Welcome to seven steps to your best-selling book. Let's say I wanted to cut out what I just heard. So it's actually right up to this position. So I'm gonna bring the blue handle in exactly at that point. Now you can click save at this point or you can apply additional cuts. Let's say I have a new cut, but I need to find the exact position of that cut. So I'm gonna play a little bit because I know I cough in the beginning here and I wanna cut that out. Career transition, writing, and some publishing. <clears throat> okay, here it is. So I need to write down the exact position for the coughing. So let's see, I'll play it from here. Publishing. Okay, so as soon as I raise my hand, so I'm going to start here, which is, if you look over here, is about 948. So I'm going to jot that down at 948, and let's just play it. <coughs> Okay, so right around here. So I'm going to cut from 948 to 1258, 1258. Okay, and then if it helps, you could zoom in a little further. Just gonna zoom in a little bit more. Okay, and then you wanna position to the beginning of the cut. In this example, it's around 948. Actually, I'm gonna do it just a little bit before that, right here. And then what you would do is select a new cut. And instead of 945, just gonna change it to 946. And I wanna cut from there until 1258. So 1258, and I'm going to click the check mark. And you could see that instead of the blue handles, now you have the red, and then you can also just unzoom just a little bit to see the cut. You can also play before you click the check mark to double check that that's the area you wanna cut. You could position the locator here, like outside the area that's gonna be cut, and then play it, and then you can see and hear what it's gonna be like after the cut writing and some publishing and this presentation applies to writers of all perfect so the area that i want to cut is confirmed i'll click the check mark and then i'll save my changes now after you make the selection to cut it's going to prompt you with this pop-up do you want to save your changes and you want to look this over it always says it might take a few hours for your changes to apply that really depends on the length of your video. This particular video is just a practice video that's just a few minutes long, but I did edit a video that was closer to 50 minutes and that did take a little bit more time, uh, but a video that's only a few minutes or maybe like say five to 10 minutes should update fairly quickly. So during that time, viewers will see the current version of the video. Uh, you won't be able to make other changes to the video and the original version of your video will be stored so if you want you could undo your edits and you can click on this link if you want to learn more about um, reverting back while you wait you can leave this particular uh, page and it will do its thing and save your changes i'll click save and at the bottom, it says a video is being processed. Please check back later. So what I usually do at this point is, you know, possibly leave it open. You could close it. So at this point, I am going to click and return back to channel content. And I'll check back shortly to see if the video is updated. Okay, so I'm back on the channel content and it's literally been less than five minutes. I just walked away for a few minutes. So to tell if your video is finished editing, uh, you can do a couple things. 
Uh, you can compare the amount of time. I know my original video was uh, closer to like three minutes and 40 seconds. And now it's three minutes and 33 seconds. You could refresh your screen and see the difference. But to double, double check and confirm, you can go into the video and listen to it in an external window or just listen to it right in here. Today I'll be discussing career transition, writing and some publishing. And this presentation applies to writers of all genres. I started uh, 10, 12 plus years ago writing online articles and short stories. Okay, so it was actually not nine minutes and 48 seconds. It was nine seconds in and 48 seconds, which we have um, surpassed. So um, the change has been made. Everything's been saved. And that's all it takes to trim and cut at the beginning and or middle of your video in YouTube Studio. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button. And remember to subscribe to this channel so you could see more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.